friends today we see how we can upload bulk data to sharepoint by using excel power apps and power automate okay what is client requirement i will show you okay client wants to submit the data in from excel uh, when user attach file then data is created in the sharepoint list this simple scenario we have to create in our application I will show you the demo how it's work first. Let's go and create one file. Let's give name to it book seeds button. Let's we run our flow is run success. Object uh, refresh our flow. Here you can see our record was created now. Okay. How we created this scenario? Let's we go to our Power Automate. Okay, for you creating this flow, first uh, uh, we have taken Power S V2 connector. We want file name, file content selected from here. So go add and select file name. Okay, then we take second action, create file. <coughs> uh, give a, give site address uh, that you have to patch. In my case. Payroll and say SharePoint access folder path. You have to go go here and select folder that are available here. In my case, I have given my name Ravi. You can select this. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the file name, you have to go and select. Uh, put here one condition. I will repeat. Trigger body parasynthesis in curly bracket file dot name. You can see here as well. Okay. Uh, in file content you have to go in dynamic content add dynamic content and take file content from power apps v2 connector okay after that we have uh, what we have done here up to this first we have uploaded a file from power apps and created it in sharepoint library okay uh, and give one folder part to it ravi okay what we have doing now okay from our site that we have created a file okay in sharepoint payroll okay in ravi we have taken that file details of excel means that file we have created that taken id value from here after that uh, <clears throat> similarly here also and uh, we take dynamic table okay every time table was different that's why we take first output get tables question mark body value name value okay and advanced function we're not using this we're not applying no filter query okay uh, let's we uh, given here one condition okay for checking the excel values in our excel okay means values are present in this excel are not empty or not blanks okay for that we have created one condition okay simply values that are we are getting from our dynamic content okay pay code values you can take that values from here okay is not equal to zero and hours value is not equal to zero uh, and if uh, it is not equal to zero then we go and create <coughs> updating creating item in our sharepoint list first we give sharepoint list name and then title pay codes that we have to update okay i minimize okay. for taking this id parameter before that okay you go select here folder path take our excel book that we are uploaded to our sharepoint okay here in this condition you can see in ravi i already uh, file was present here okay now take that file uh, similarly for here also okay select file okay remove this table and take table from here we reselect the folder book 6 
and the on it will provide us with the given table name here you can take table name value okay from here uh, you get a value function from our excel in dynamic content okay go take apply to each condition and here you take value okay now apply the condition in apply condition this values up now you can see let's say pay code okay hours hours okay similarly here also okay we give one add date value <coughs> and now after completing this code giving excel values okay go and change this format okay from book 6r uh, remove this and give here id that we are taking from sharepoint not item id only take id value okay and apply that condition we have first taken from there for for table you have to go in expressions okay in expressions put this formula here get item okay i will show this formula to you you can see now first output get tables body that we are taking and name value okay let's uh, okay this now now it's okay let's we test our flow here from here first save our flow uh let's uh, save our copy of your our change We name to it one two three copy last that we are taken last change. Okay, let's we recheck our flow. Okay, now it is okay. Uh, we miss here value. We have to also change value from this file content. ID. Now let's uh, save our flow return. After saving our flow, let's test the flow manually. The flow is disabled, okay? Uh, because we have created the copy, this is disabled by default. Let's we change this. Turn on this flow. Let's we go in edit mode now. From here, we test it. Now its condition changes. You can. Conditions were given here. Save and test. Okay. For that, we go here and delete our file. So we can't get error while creating the file. Let's import our file. So open this and run. Yes, done. Now let's we check our flow is running here. Okay, it's looping our condition, and our flow is successfully run. Okay, you can see the output here. Zero time shift. Our new record was added here. In Ruby also, you can see I refresh this. Book six star is added few minutes out. That's all about you friends. If you have some questions regarding this flow, you can ask me.